because he never believed he'd ever be able to drive this car or ever see it running again in his life. Thanks. We're going to get in here today, get the old car out, wash it off, and we're going to start working on it so that we can have it running for Dad's birthday in May. Here we go. Dad bought it brand new. It had been parked since 72. But how hard would it be to get it to run so your dad could drive it again and have some fun? Remember, he really wanted a 55 Ford Crown Vic, a two-door that'd be really quick. But he had three kids and the fourth on the way, Carolyn. So a Fairlane Town sedan was really all he could say. You've heard the story how he hit 115 running down that flat West Texas road on high-octane gasoline. A super-tuned 272 two-barrel with a stock Ford cam. And he actually outran a 55 Dodge Red Ram. Giving it the gas, yeah. Well, that's something else. And he asked me months, several months ago uh, if, if I thought I could get it running because he wanted to drive it one more time before he, you know, left this, this earth. And uh, I told him I would, and I'd do it before his birthday, which was a, a challenge, to say the least. Harry hauled the car to his shop to work on it. Walt knew about that. But all he was hearing was from the neighbors telling him, hey, you'll probably never even see that car again. We got the crazy idea to save the dust off the old car. Hadn't been cleaned since 72. I think this is a first. Yeah, it could be. It's yeah, certainly a first for me. And I tell you, I slept many a time right up there in the back window. Taking trips. On the rear package tray, right? Yep. Right, yep. right there. Well, I hate to admit it, but this probably was on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what about your dad as far as driving? I mean, he's in pretty good physical condition, right? Yeah, what? He, he still had his driver's license up till his birth, last birthday. He was 98. He's so. amazing. <laughs> he is. His memory oh, is. Yeah, he can. He's sharp. That's oh, looky here. Yeah, How much? This is our good neighbor, Mr. Simpson. My name is Milton Clarence Simpson, but to call me MC, if you call me other word, I get mad. What is the other word? <laughs> Codger. <laughs> Mr. Simpson is our lifesaver. He really oh, is. He, he comes is. and checks on Dad every day, make sure he, he has what he needs. Not make once, he's... just a bunch of times. A bunch of times. Yes. Right. Exactly. A bunch of times. Make sure he's got food. He's... We'll probably have his birthday party at my, my house because it's a good place. I have some acreage out there, and good place for all the kids, and and you know he can drive it around out there and. We'll, Nobody will be any any danger, and he won't he won't run over anybody. Oh, you got it out of gear? Is it out of gear? Is it is it in neutral? It ain't wanting to move at all. Oh, that emergency brake. The emergency brake off. I help, help it. Bring it on. Harry, you sure you got it off? There we go. Oh, yeah, there there we, go. we go. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, 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 okay. Need some radio. <laughs> yep. Don't stop. 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 These old neighborhoods, I tell you, well, like this one, Walt West came here and settled down, raised a family after World War II. I don't know. People just seem to go back and forth more between their houses and cut up and have fun. Uh, there's something to it. We get the battery in it to see what radio station will be playing on this radio. Because I listen to KIXZ or Coma out of Oklahoma City. <laughs> so what all you got to round up to get it running, you think, Harry? Well, what we're going to do today, we're going to wash it off a little bit. Trying to get the water off of it and work on it. He bought a new Ford in 1966, so this car then got to set out. Of course, Dad was born in Arkansas, and so he, he learned to work on wagons and Model Ts and just whatever they had. He used what you had, 
So this has got some real Arkansas engineering <laughs> on it. An example, he must have lost the cap on the master cylinder. I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> he got a, got a plastic cap off a bottle or something. I don't know that these Y blocks were prone to uh, vapor lock. Of course, the old flathead forge would. They get hot and fuel pump at vapor lock. So dad rigged him a air vent. He got an air vent that comes right out here. He got him an air hose that comes over here and cools the fuel pump. <laughs> so, but uh, I guess, uh, let's see what any of the metal parts on there. He just, he just stuck that over there. As a, it's, it's on there, it's nasty. May have a hole in it. He says this is the original 1955 fan belt. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know that it didn't. And we're gonna jack it up, put it on stands, and block it up good so it's safe. And, okay. And then turn to the brakes. And, I guess I better floor jacket didn't bleed back some. Especially when you're working by yourself. Well, uh, we got the same. Got a nail in it, don't you? Yeah, we've got the same Arkansas cotter key in there. It's called a, called a nail. Called a ten penny nail. So <laughs> see how dad bent it down there on the end? I don't know if you can see that right there. This is some of his upbringing. Make do with what you got. I guess it worked. Now my dad is the ultimate product of the depression. I mean, they saved everything. They never threw things away. And he's still that way. He's never, I don't think, ever got over, you know, the depression and realizing that, you know, the hard times they had. Because he was the oldest of 15 children. And, you know, he uh, talked in the other video about how he went to the CC camps. Well, that's so they were all starving to death back home during the Depression because they were farmers and things got really bad. And the Dust Bowl, he, I mean, he lived through all of that. And, uh, you know, he still does some really funny things. <laughs> when we come over to do, do any cleaning at the house, uh, we have to wait for the hot water heater to heat up because he keeps it on vacation. He does. <laughs> it's true because <laughs> he's saving that little money. And and Dad, you know, he's he's got a good retirement. You know, he was he's a tough man. Well, yeah, kind man, but he's a tough man. And you know, you did what had to be done. To make it. So, Bob, how's your how's your fifty five coming? About you going to get it running pretty soon? Or? I haven't been able to do anything with it yet. Oh, you okay? You're still waiting on that? Yeah, I'm. I, I'm, I'm Reserving up money to start buying more parts. There it is. Does that spring look a little weird? Kind of. Yes, it does look a little. At least it was well, stuck I... open if it was. <laughs> I don't know if that, how that. The neighbor went over this morning about 7.30 to make, you know, to help him get, and he said he is already up and already talking about it. And we got, you know, People from both sides of the family, mom's family. We got people from Houston here. We got people from Oklahoma City. We got them from Lubbock. We got them. You know, those people come quite a ways to see dad. This is Aunt Burley May, and she was my uh, mom's brother Richard's wife. This is Zachary. He's uh, my sister, uh, mom's sister's boy, and, and this is uh, his wife, and this is. Mom's brother, J.W., that's his girl, Misty. Well, we were planning on somewhere between 60 and 80 people today. If you want to, we're going to, there's the other the battery. <laughs> uh, looks a little different from the first time you shot it, Jerry. <laughs> we, uh, had a lot of work done to it to get it to where he could drive it again, but it's uh, it's ready to go. So yeah, he's gonna be tickled to death. If he can get in and drive it, it's safe to go wherever you want to. A 55 Ford Fairlane Town Sedan may be not that valuable, but this one is to the family. That paint's all original, everything's all original. It's an incredible time machine. Hey, got that far. <laughs>
So, <laughs> let me ask a couple of things. So, is this a surprise to him? Does he know the car's here? Well, he knows it's here, but he hasn't seen it yet. We'll bring it out and bring him out here and get him in it. Walt's 99th birthday party had more of the feel of a family reunion with four generations and dozens of people. They all know he's a World War II vet. He joined the Army June 6, 1942, became a member of the 81st Wildcat Division. They fought in the Pacific in the Battle of Angar, the Battle of Peleliu, and they even returned with General Douglas MacArthur to the Philippines. Over here, this picture right here is my mother, 14 years old. Oh, wow. There's Aunt Willie and then her. Yeah, I see <laughs> Walt and my dad and uh, Aunt, yeah. I mean no, Grandma Aunt Turner. Aunt Willie and my mother, Eva. Yeah. <laughs> Walt got surprised to see the car done, especially the engine compartment just looking like it was brand new, completely detailed. And then it was running and he could drive it and he was going to get in and drive the car. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. This is that before we talk to us. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Now, where, where are we going? We're just out. Not all. You going to go right around that way and go out to drive? Private roads, of course. If you drive it wherever you want to. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, boy. You got to find a peasant here. Yeah, put it underneath the under it. Put, put, here's the brake right here. Put it right here. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to get the spot in there. There it is. Yeah, pump it a couple of times. Yeah. There you go, you got it. Boy, that's got a good break. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good break. Yeah. All right, we're going to go just go straight. You're doing great. Yeah. Yeah, down the side of the building. Yeah. Right? A little bit yeah. to your left. Yeah. A little yeah. Bit. You don't run over the oh, fence. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, Especially them big metal poles. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, boy. Well, right. Right. If I can see, if I can see better, I'd like to ride it down right down the road a little bit, but it's not worth it. But I can't see that good. All right, now yeah, go boy. straight, a little to the right. Oh, yeah. Right on, then turn right on around this white pickup. There you go. Yeah, it's Turner. Nope, nope. Wait, wait, wait. You got nope, nope. Get on the brake. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you're yeah good. I can't go tell on, where my foot's at. Huh? I can't tell where my foot's at. That's, oh, your yeah. foot bothering you? Okay. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, that's good. That's you, good. You want that a little farther back? Yeah. You go back as far as you want. Yeah. Turn it to... There you go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all the way. I can go down there. I don't mind. Yeah. Might, maybe we better... Okay, let's go yeah. down there. Let me go. I've got my foot on the brake now. Yeah. I'll, right, I'll keep it on the brake here. Yeah. Turn it hard. Yeah, hard, 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 hard. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Mission boy. To Tahoe. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got it now. Right. I've got it on the just, just go straight and we'll park it right down. Just park it down there. You want to park it under the trees? Yeah, if you want to. All right, just go to your left. To the left? Yeah, to the left. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right, honk that horn. Tell him. <laughs> That's yeah. good right there, Dad. Just right. Stop that baby, put her apart. Yeah. Wait, get it stopped first. Oh, kind of mission to do all right, Bruce. Yeah. You might have to help me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Where is park? Yeah. All the way up. Yeah. To, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. He's got. Yeah, you're in park. We're in park. You got okay. it. All right, you're yeah. done. Oh, okay. you did it. Drive it some more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that baby. <maybe. laughs> yeah. Okay. Look, that fun? look out there. Look out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth, no, I'd give, to see the reaction he had, uh, but it's worth every penny, it's worth every minute, you know, just to see that old man's reaction for, you know, that, that's what life's all about. And, you know, 
if you don't have if you don't have that uh, you know of course if you don't have the money you don't but uh, the the $1500 is nothing I mean it is what it is but it's nothing for the reaction that we got you know from his 99th birthday and to put him in the car and let him drive it that was just you know that was fun <laughs> that was because uh, you know I'm not going to be able to say that too many too much longer we'll hope for the hundredth and then after that but uh, who knows we'll just have to wait and see that's not up to us so but that was worth it and I'd do it again yeah the fastest I've ever drove this forward would you like to know yeah 115 miles an hour it would do 115 well after I it, but just like it was when I got it, it would do 105 miles an hour. I saw it do. But with the super soon up, after it broke in, it'd get 115. Yeah. I, 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 I outrun a, a red brown Dodge at 115 miles an hour. So, that's moving on. But what I can't believe is how actually comfortable these old seats are. They're not pokey or... Of course, still the rounds are amazing. Hey, Pop. I have to use the bathroom. Where's that pump bottle at? I think it'd be like, no, you got to be walking down the road to get Well... I still got a half a tank of gas. You're gonna have to wait. Yeah. You had to go to the bathroom when he's got gas. That was just all there was. That's all there was. Yeah. You wasn't stopping. Oh my God. And we know how to read a map. We don't need to GPS yeah. our system. And we can actually refold it. Have too. you ever seen a map before? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I have. Yeah. With the old original maps, it was a real art to be able to refold them back up yes, to where they were. Yeah. Much more talented than people are today. Well, that's it. Yeah. 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 Well, that's it. Yeah